All right. Okay, so I know it's been a while since I have last posted anything, and I apologize for that. Between work and the winter months, I have had to put my kayak up into storage for the winter to keep it weathered and everything like that. And um, my life has been very hectic lately and uh, made a lot of um, big-time life decisions lately and really just been changing things up a lot. So it's really affected the whole youtube thing um but i we are still on course and i still have plans to grow this channel and it's going to be a big part of what i'm trying to do basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to free up more of my time so i can follow my passion and um get this content for you guys and um just do this for a living basically i mean I'm trying to, I'm going to, I have made the steps towards starting my own business so I can make my own schedule so that I can pursue my passion and kind of create my own schedule around this so I can more intently travel and get out there and just get better content for you guys and just do a lot more interesting things. I want to try to, um, I know I'd made the previous promise in the last, in earlier videos I was gonna fish for a lot more species than just local species to where that I I grew up than just local species to where from where I grew up when was born and raised I wanted to um I told you guys that I was planning on getting out traveling and, and trying to get out of my comfort zone and catching fish that was on my bucket list and I was gonna do all these amazing things well that's what I'm trying to do by doing that is give my life a lot more flexibility with my traveling and whatnot. And that's exactly what I've been doing. And it's just taken a lot of time away from what I want to do. I did do some winter fly fishing and, um, actually today's video is going to end up being, uh, kind of some of that, um, early spring fishing. It's a, uh, it's a form of fishing that we call snagging and a lot of people that's not local to the Midwest might not know what that it'd be familiar with that. But the species that we target here are called paddlefish. Locally we call them spoonbill. They're pretty amazing fish. They have not changed much in hundreds of thousands of years. They're extremely cool fish. Um you'll just have to check it out in the video. Uh but yeah, <clears throat> we got a pretty interesting one for you guys today. Um and I just wanted to also <clears throat> get on some of these fish to prove to you that I am what broadening broadening my horizon and getting on some different species that not everybody <clears throat> just goes out and catches every day so yeah uh yeah anyway let's uh go ahead and get to it and see what we can get for you guys what is up guys it's currently 4:15 in the morning uh and we are going down to the Lake of the Ozarks, uh, Southern Missouri today. We're going to try to get on some big spoonbill and possibly some big flatheads or blues. So that's what's playing us for today. It's early, but we're going to get out there and get at it. See you guys there.
here snagging on Lake the Ozarks for Spoonbill using a 12 foot rod. Line don't get weak. Gotcha. I want to loosen this drag just a hair. Okay. Well, I think you're seeing that, right? Bobby, get that bucket down in the water. He's a little flat. It might have changed eventually. What this speed feels about right. We're on. We are on our first hopefully spoon bill today. <laughs> Is it I take it back. I guess we are doing something right. <laughs> I might do it, Bobby. What are you doing? It feels like a decent one, but it's definitely not a big fish, I don't think. Oh, yeah, that's a fish. Oh, boy. Never mind. I take it back. He does feel pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that's a decent fish. Yes, it's on. We're getting this on camera, baby. Oh, J-Rod. I, I was beginning to wonder if we was going to get one today. You was right. I owe you lunch. <laughs> if I get the full end of this fish, I'll pay for your lunch. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, I think so. He's, he's definitely the same color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh, it's a good one, though. That's definitely a skunk breaker. <laughs> Woo! close. I think it's too short. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is too short, but that's okay. I'll take him. Only got one hook in here. I, can, I think I can. Yeah, if you want to grab him for me. Yeah. I'm going to flip my bell. I'm going to give you some slack. I'm hung on my rod eye. Yeah. Okay. I'm all right on that, really. Damn it. 
I got it. It's laying there. I think he's be too short. Yeah, I'm sure he is. I just want to get a tape on him and see what he looks like here. Put it right on his eye. Yeah. So you measure these guys from the eye to the fork of the tail. Looks like he's only about 30. 29. 29? Yeah. 32 to 34, 34. to keep. Needed to be Just more under. More. Okay. okay. Hold on. I got my hand in the way here. All right. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little excited here. This is the first one I've caught in a while. This is a uh, spoonbill in uh, southern Missouri out of the lake of the Ozarks. He was just under 30 inches, like 29, and what was he? Got to be, yeah, he's 29 inches long. They got to be 34 yeah. to keep him from just the under. eye to the fork of the tail. He's a real good fish, though. We're going to get him back. I've had him in the water, or I had him out of the water for a few minutes now. I want to get a good tail grab on, get a head shake, get that lactic acid worked out of his gills. Oh yeah, he's got lots of fight in him, so he's going to be good to go. There he goes. What a dinosaur. Woo! Alright, I got to get <laughs> calmed down. Yes. Alright. White one. Yeah, yeah, it, it worked good. Uh, beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna get back at it. And see if we can't get on an actual keeper this time. Okay, hell yeah, let's get it. Alrighty, we are back again from that awesome trip. Uh, yeah, I had a blast on that one, guys. I really did. Had a lot of fun shooting it. Um, had a lot of fun with the day. It was a tough day. We actually only uh, put the one fish in the boat, uh, and that was the one that I caught in the video. It come out to be just a hair under 30 inches, but I'm going to go ahead and call it 30 inches. It was a pretty good fish. They have to be 34 inches from the eye to the fork of the tail to keep. Personally, I'm not a huge keep everything you catch to eat fisherman. I, you guys know me. I love to release. I love to catch and release. That's just who I am. That's my favorite part is getting a good release on the fish and just being blessed enough to help catch that fish and hold it in my hands and then help get it back. That's just who I am. But, um, uh, the people that I were going with, they unfortunately do not agree with that same ideology as I do. Um, some of my close family members and friends uh, was in the boat with me today, and um, I probably would have gotten thrown out of the boat if I did catch a keeper and tried to release it. <laughs> but uh, that's for further videos. There will we will probably most definitely try to do some more snagging videos for the spoonbill and again you get into some other species when you're snagging sometimes sometimes catfish carp gar things like that but on average in the lakes that we go to mainly just spoonbill but anyway yeah i had a lot of fun shooting today's video for you guys and um yeah i look forward to the next one so uh see if we can't do something different next time thanks for watching